Wow. Just walking through the woods with a hundred pound on your back. It's a little tougher than I remember. <laughs> wow, hi YouTube. Come to a local uh, forest not too far from me. Belongs to the Forestry Commission. I've managed to uh, park not too far away on a um, local farm. A lady that owns it was kind enough to uh, allow me to park there and I've tabbed in uh, about a mile. Um, this is going to be a great place. Um, a real uh, night away from it all. Okay, this is the spot I've decided to uh, set my little camp up in, so um, better get to work. Starting to look pretty comfy. Okay, that little stumps my uh, seat. I'm going to be sitting near my uh, fire tonight, and that's my little setup. I've just uh, put some branches up the back there just to uh, give me a bit of cam from the path. It's a little panorama from the uh, path. Just checking that I'm not sticking out like a sore thumb in the wood. You know, I don't think we're doing too bad, are we? You know, I think you'd have to be looking for me. There I am in the centre of the frame. As always YouTube, I'm not big on getting loads of kit out before you need it. What I like to do is to keep everything packed, you know, get one thing out, use it, put it away. You do have to bug out. You know, what I'm leaving behind is this little tent, you know, but I've got a tarp in my uh, bag, everything's packed, all my food's in there. You know, I could be out of here in a second, and all I'm leaving behind is a tent. Okay YouTube, just the 24 hours in the woods really and uh, get away from the chaos of uh, life, the universe and everything but more importantly I suppose the economic collapse and all the uh, nightmares that are uh, just there waiting for us all. What I want to do is take you for a uh, little walk through this wood and uh, I think there's something here that's remarkable and um, if we were all loved, you know, and admired, perhaps as much as this guy that I'm going to introduce you to, the uh, world would be an incredible place. local farmer gave me access to the woods through her land and uh, I promised that I wouldn't put the location of the forest on the uh, video so sorry if you're all uh, gagging for a little bit more information this is what I brought you to see right in the middle of nowhere a monument I guess this might have been one of his favourite places then. Okay, in memory of Henry John Roberts Osborne Esquire, who perished in a collision in the English Channel, 29th of March 1889, I think it looks like, erected by mainly friends in token of sincere regret for the loss of a good neighbour and a true sportsman. Wow. So how many of us, how many of us have got friends that would have a whip round? <laughs> Put a nice memorial in our uh, favourite place, I wonder. Um, the story's probably a little bit bigger than this, you know, they were probably landed gentry. He may well have been the uh, son of the Lord of the Manor or something like that. But uh, even so, you know, it's a very perfect little spot. I wonder how many of us would object too strongly to end up somewhere like this. I wouldn't mind it at all. Henry John. 
these woods would have uh, rabbits, foxes, deer, badgers. I think that would be the bulk of the wildlife here, really. I love these forestry runs. You know, you can see for a good 150, maybe 200 meters. With all this uh, wood underfoot, no one's going to sneak up on you, are they? They'd have to be a magician, move through this ground without making a sound. Okay YouTube, this is probably going to be the most unusual place for an unboxing. Unfortunately I can't turn around and say it was a gift. <laughs> Maybe to myself for a, an early Christmas present. Uh, there's a great um, company on the internet that I get a little bit of uh, outdoory type equipment from. and. Uh, these people so that's the website just go to the website have a look at what they got now incredibly I ordered this yesterday their postage and their delivery is second to none. I've bought uh, maybe three or four things off of them. They have turned up the very next day. No charge for, uh, you know, no extra postage or anything. Okay, what have I bought? I've bought myself a uh, Condor Bushcraft knife. And I bought this knife not because I need another knife. I didn't have a specific Bushcraft knife in truth and uh, this particular knife comes in two sizes some of the reviews on it have said it's great steel it's got a full tang but the handle and the blade lack a uh, little finish and um, they're probably right you know to go over this handle with a little bit of fine uh, sandpaper and to give it a uh, final sealing coat of a uh, varnish or oil would um, really bring this knife up you know maybe uh, two or three more points out of ten the other thing is it's got a very good uh, blade on it but I don't think it's got an exceptional blade and I think it would take one you know so uh, what uh, needs to be done there I think is you, is you would need to go over it yourself with a stone and just give it a little finish I mean I love the way the blade goes right up to the handle the handle is a good size I've got a fairly big hand you know my hand is my glove size would be a uh, nine and a half maybe you know uh, thickness of the blade that's pretty thick you know at a guess I would turn around and say that that was uh, three or four mil maybe you know which is uh, pretty good bowl accounts uh, really good um, carbon steel will take a uh, uh, spark no problems at all and uh, it's a Condor El Salvador. Now the greatest thing about this knife and the reason that I bought it, which will, uh, I think, blow most people away, is uh, the price. Here in the UK, 30 pounds, 95 pence. So you're looking at about $45 in the US. This is a very nice leather sheath. It's got the inserted piece of leather, stitched and riveted. It's got a nice uh, belt loop on it. You know, I think this is going to be a very good bushcraft.